Hi there, it is me, your humble, friendly neighborhood uh, stroke assaulter. Sorry, I've not made a video in a little while. I've been dealing with a lot of issues on my end. Um, so it wasn't really, not really in the right headspace to, to do a video. Because um, just had a lot of crap going on. Um, that should come to fruition today or tomorrow, one or the other. Um, and then once that comes to fruition and I'm no longer stressy, and I'll explain it. Nothing really major, don't worry, um, but I'll explain that later. Basically, what I want to talk about right now is it is World Stroke Day. Today is October 29th, uh, and it is World Stroke Day. So part of the appeal of the World Stroke kind of initiative is to end stroke. <clears throat> now, Ending stroke requires a couple of things. One, uh, well, give money and give money responsibly to only charities that you know are certified and, 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 and well run, well managed and legitimately have an interest in stroke, uh, such as like heart and stroke, heart and lung, whatever, right? Um, secondly, support endeavors in your community. So like the big bike ride, I guess I don't have an excuse to get out of that anymore at work. Oops. Um, so you got things like the big bike ride to do um, or other fundraising endeavors to do, whatever that may be. That is something you're going to want to participate in. And then lastly, check yourself, right? If you have some of the risk factors involved. So the mo most commonly understood ones, there are people that smoke. I was one, right? Uh, people that are um, highly stressed or high blood pressure. Well, I, I was a bit stressed. Um, I'm not sure about the blood pressure. I never really had bad blood pressure or, or heart rhythm, but could have been. Uh, people that are obese, and I don't mean you're packing on a few extra pounds. I mean, you know, your BMI is bigger than it should be. Um, if your BMI is bigger than your waist size, yeah, you got problems. Um, yeah, enough said. Um, other things to look at uh, is how do you eat your cholesterol levels? Um, if you're on a healthy diet of cheeseburgers, you might want to reconsider your cheeseburger diet. Um, you also might want to reconsider other life choices like what do you snack on? Um, what do you drink a lot of juices and pops? Or, or is it just pop? Or is it beer? Or, you know, and then on the beer front, um, people that are abusing their bodies, uh, be it through prescription drugs, uh, illicit street narcotics, right? The illegal stuff, um, or alcohol or other things, right? You're not taking care of yourself. So if you happen to fit into any of those categories, um, you have direct control over what you can do to change your life, be it quit smoking, start exercising, relieve the stress, stop eating the cheeseburgers, um, you know, Making a cheeseburger smoothie doesn't make it healthier, okay? You, yes, you're having a smoothie, but the smoothie's made out of a cheeseburger, so probably not the best idea. Um, you know, if you happen to be overweight and you are egregiously large, you need to change that, change that now. Um, if you happen to be overindulging in substances, you need to change that, change that now. Um, however, there are types of stroke that are related to birth defects, right? Um, like your AVM strokes, um, that's essentially you have a malformed kind of blood blood vein capillary structure in the brain. Um, so people might have genetic risk factors. So if you have genetic risk factors for a stroke, so my family, the day I had my stroke was also my grandmother's birthday. Had she still been alive, she had a stroke. But she had a stroke because she was 84, right? Old people going to say something that's highly discriminatory and could be considered ageist, so your trigger warning has been provided, old people stroke out. <clears throat> right? It's just a thing. You got old, you had a heart attack or a stroke, right? It's, you know, it's a thing. Um, now, her stroke didn't kill her, uh, but we didn't know how long she'd been down for, so they couldn't get her any kind of medical intervention like TPA or whatever the case may be. Um, so if you have a genetic thing, such as <clears throat> in your family... Do people under 50 regularly have strokes? 
you know? Um, if the answer is yes to that, now answer another question. Is it more than one or two people in your family that have had strokes under age 50? Is it in more than one generation that you've had people in your family that have had strokes under 50? If you answer yes to any two of those questions, or three, yeah, you have a genetic and familial predisposition to stroke. There's something going on there. So, when it comes to World Stroke Day, please, I realize that a lot of everything has a day now. Like, there's national talk like a pirate day. Arr, right? There's, like, there's national talk like this day. There's national that day. Right? Um, but consider you stand a higher likelihood to have a heart attack or a stroke throughout the course of your lifetime than any other major medical malady. Right? A heart attack or a stroke, one or the other. Um, and a heart attack, it's physically debilitating, right? Um, it's something that will take physical rehabilitation from. A stroke, I don't need so much physical rehabilitation, right? It's it's the mental. I'm easily fatigued still. I still have aphasia and word finding issues at times, mainly when I'm very frustrated or highly emotional because it's, it's an important issue to me. Um, I have balance issues at times. I still have a bit of a wonky memory at times. My sleep is still completely buggered up. Um, you know, so you, and, and I had a fairly moderate stroke with a very excellent outcome. So I'm very high functioning, which is very difficult because I'm an invisible stroke person because people don't perceive you as how well, you look great. I know I look great. Thanks. That's kind of insulting. Of course, I look great. So what you're saying is I don't look like I should have had a stroke. Yeah, I get it. Um, moving on. So World Stroke Day. Okay? So please give to your local stroke-related charities like the Heart and Stroke, Heart and Lung, you know, whatever you happen to call it in your jurisdiction in Canada. You might want to give to the March of Dimes. You might want to give to Heart and Stroke, right? Uh, uh, Heart and Stroke Association of Canada. In the States, you know, whoever that case may be. Um, if you happen to have a stroke unit uh, in your hospital or a hospital nearby, you may want to donate time, money to them, volunteer or whatever. Um, when it comes to your local initiatives, you might do other things. You might um, get involved with some of the local stroke-related rehabilitation activities. In my area, I believe it's every Tuesday, they have a, uh, a stroke walk at the mall which I'm actually going to go attend tomorrow. Never been yet. Um, we'll check it out. Uh, there is a stroke survivors meeting thing the first Thursday of every month in my city, which I'm going to go to this month. I couldn't make it last month, but I'll go to this month. <clears throat> and then after you've given the money to your, your national or provincial or state regional charities, uh, and then you've taken the time to volunteer in your local community or, or, or involve yourself in local community initiatives, such as like through your workplace with like the Heart and Stroke Big Bike Ride or whatever the case may be. Um, lastly, look at yourself, right? Um, I saw those little, little uh, um, pictures and adverts, warning sign, the warning, the warning labels on packages of cigarettes. Saw those. Yeah, totally. That's, yeah. Well, one, you got the whole pregnancy one. Well, I don't plan on getting pregnant, so that's not an issue. Um, you know, or the other one's about, you know, bad teeth or whatever. And they had the one about stroke. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. You know what? I'm lucky. And I'm going to admit that I'm lucky. I, I'm high functioning after my stroke. Um, I'm... 85 to 95 percent physically almost exactly where I was before my stroke depending on the day cognitively mentally there are days where I have difficulty uh, you know recently I was in a mall um, been in the mall for a while probably longer than I should have been fluorescent lights gonna go look at uh, sunglasses tonight um, and I went to go into the food court to decide what I wanted to eat. And 
the friend I was with told me that I was basically pacing in the food court for about 15 minutes. Because I'll be honest, I was just confused, completely confused. There's too much activity, too many choices, the fluorescent lighting, ambient noise, too many choices, couldn't make a decision, right? It was, diff it was, it was, it was painful. And I can only imagine what it looked like to wa watch. So, right, I'm getting better. Every day is be becoming an easier day. Uh, that being said, had I respected that warning, right, whatever that may be, right, um, you know, be it you are overweight and you keep getting little gentle reminders or not gentle reminders, hey, lose a few pounds, start eating right. Um, you, you're on a regularly scheduled plan of the cheeseburger diet. You're like, no, no, I'm good. I'll just keep eating the cheeseburger. No, you, you need to stop. If you're abusing mood, mind altering substances, be they prescription, be they legal, be they illegal, whatever the case may be, you're going to want to, you're, you're going to want to check that. So there's many reasons why you may have a stroke, right? That are inside your control. There's a few that aren't because you've got a family history or some kind of, some kind of congenital birth defect or whatnot, right, um, that might predispose you to stroke. Um, in that case, if you've got a family history of stroke, which I did not, um, or you've got a, some kind of congenital birth defect, structural issue in your body that is predisposing you to stroke, right, at that point, you, you got to have a reality check, right? So the goal for World Stroke Day is to end stroke. Um, however, like Smokey the Bear used to say, only you can prevent forest fires. Well, only you can prevent you from having a stroke, right? Or the higher likelihood of you not having a stroke. Eventually, you'll get old, and that could happen anyways. But one thing I've learned through this whole stroke-tastic event is you control your outcome, right? As best you can. So you can control not having a stroke. Well, on that note, if you happen to like to see what you've been watching the last uh, four, four and a bit months, please like, share, subscribe with your friends. And if you happen to see someone that's going through the throes or symptoms of a stroke, be it you or someone around you, such as facial droop, uh, inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all, uh, slurred speech, stuttering speech, uh, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, uh, inability to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.